Polarization describes the locus of a wave. It only makes sense to speak of polarization if the wave is transverse. But for a longitudinal wave, the locus would be the same as the line of the direction of propagation. On the other hand, transverse waves are those whose direction of oscillation is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. The concept of polarization is most used for electromagnetic waves, which are transverse. First, let's take a look at the components of the wave. You can see they are both in phase. This is a necessary condition for a linear polarization. You can also see that in this case, their amplitudes are different. If we sum both components, we obtain the wave. This is shown by the green color. Clearly, it oscillates in a plane, so it has a linear polarization. If you look closely, you can notice at every instant, the wave is equal to the sum of both components. Also, the front view indicates the polarization very clearly. For a circular polarization, the locus of the wave is, of course, a circumference. For this to happen, the wave components must be 90 degrees out of phase with each other and have the same amplitude. If we now sum both components, we can see clearly the polarization is circular. Finally, in the case of elliptical polarization, the components must be out of phase. And if they have a 90 degrees phase shift, then their amplitudes must be different. These are the conditions for an elliptical polarization. If we sum both components, we can see clearly it is an elliptical polarization. In this case, we are not showing the polarization and the components at the same time to avoid confusion. The front view shows the ellipse, 